Well, it was a knock at the door that a Gonzaga fan didn't see coming after spending the last three years trying to get tickets to a home game. 78-year-old Richard Schaefer learned that there would be a seat for him tonight inside the kennel. It's all thanks to a generous donor who was touched by a post on Facebook. Now, Schaefer lost his wife a few years ago, and ever since, his neighbor has walked across the street bringing some game day company with her. In a story you'll see only on KXOI4, Kyle Simchuk was there for the big surprise. And Kyle, this anonymous donor giving up these seats tonight, and they're not just any seats either. Well, Nadine, let's just say that Schaefer and his neighbor might be able to feel the sweat off of some of these players tonight. They're inside the kennel right now for tonight's game, something they never thought would be possible. It's a game day ritual several years in the making. I started watching them many years ago, and I, I'm hooked on them now. Minutes before tip-off, Richard Schaefer, or Skeeter as his neighbors call him, moves this recliner a little closer to his own. And then we sit here and shop together. Yes, and we scream at the TV. <laughs> Janine Burns has walked across the street for each Zag game ever since Skeeter lost his wife. It was tough, but we go on with our lives and she's in a better place. He lives alone with no family in Spokane. Janine is happy to share her company. He truly is the best neighbor you can have. But in these comfy recliners, the two have always wondered what the crowd would be like in person. So Janine posted to Facebook. Just give me a clue of how I can get a ticket. Little did she know that post would yield more than a clue. And we all know in Spokane, it's really hard to get tickets. Rick Clark heard Janine's story and went out on a limb. I've seen crazier things happen, you know, with social media in Spokane. And within the first 24 hours, uh, we had a couple people step forward. An anonymous person touched by Janine's story decided to donate his own tickets. It was time to surprise Skeeter. Here he is. He's looking at us. He knew something was up when he saw our news car. Hi, Skeeter. Hello. How are you? I'm Rick Clark. I'm a student at Gonzaga University. At first, Skeeter thought he was just getting some Zag gear. Then he realized what this was all about. We've got two tickets for you. Oh, really? For you and Janine to go watch a live game at the at the kennel. Oh, great. How's that sound? Wonderful. <laughs> yeah? And it's not just any tickets, courtside seats. I'm excited, too. <laughs> That's about all I can add. I can't believe it. And we asked Janine and Skeeter to send us some photos of their special night. We'll be sure to share them with you tonight on KXLY4 Nightside at 11. For now, reporting live outside the kennel, Kyle Simchuk, KXLY4 News. Oh, great story. Thanks a lot, Kyle.